Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of integration. And if I talk about the question from this topic, which is given to us here, the question tells us to find the value of the integral, which has the limits from minus pi by four to plus pi by four. And the expression given to us is x plus pi by four. Denominator, you have two minus cos two x dx. So we need to find the value of this entire integral and the options given to us are pi square by six root three, pi square by six, pi square by three root three, pi square by 12. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for the question given to us. Let's see. So before starting off the question, if I say, let's say I is the integral for which we have to find the value. The expressions given are x plus pi by 4 and 2 minus cos 2. So we need to find the value of this entire integral i. Let's do that. So before starting off with the question, if I just put, let's say this entire expression is a function of x, f of x. So if I'm just using the idea of property of the integral that says, if I have the limits of a to b f of x dx, I can write that as a to b, but f of x, I can write as f of a plus b minus x. So if I'm just using the idea, I get it. Limits are from minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. f of x dx, I can write that as minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. f of minus pi by 4 plus pi by 4 minus x once i get this minus pi by 4 and plus pi by 4 gets cancelled you are left with limits from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 f of minus x so once i have f of x with me f of minus x so instead of x you are putting minus x Two into minus x, which is cos of minus two x, that makes it minus x plus pi by four. Two minus cos of minus theta, which is cos theta, so cos of two x. So your yeah, f of it minus x turns out like this as a function. Now, if I write this, I can also write this i as limits from minus pi by four to plus pi by four. Instead of f of x, I can write f of minus x also because f of x I can replace with my f of minus x. So your limits or your expressions become minus x plus pi by 4, 2 minus cos 2x. Now I have this is my equation 2 and this is my equation 1. Once I have both of these ideas, if I'm adding 1 and 2, i plus i. To y. Limits are from minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. And the expressions we have here is x plus pi by 4 upon 2 minus cos 2x plus minus x plus pi by 4 upon 2 minus cos 2x. The whole thing with dx. Now we are writing the whole thing together because the limits are same. So 2y becomes minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. Denominator remaining same. Your numerator becomes x plus pi by 4 minus x plus pi by 4. So x and minus x gets cancelled. You get pi by 4 plus pi by 4, 2 pi by 4. So your values become 2y is equal to 2 pi by 4. Limits become minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. And you have your 1 upon 2 minus cos 2x. Now once I solve or I try to solve this, I get 2 1s or 2 2s are. So from here I get it. I becomes, if I take 2 here also, 
it becomes pi by 4 minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 and your value becomes 1 upon 2 minus 2 to minus 6. Now let's try to solve this further. If I use the idea of property of definite integral again, minus a to a f of x dx, I can just write that as 2 times 0 to a so your value of the integral becomes i. You have pi by 4 out. Limits go from 0 to pi by 4 now. And your values become 1 upon 2 minus cos 2x. So your values become i. Okay. So when we wrote 0 to pi by 4, actually we have 2 times of that. So we need to put a 2 also there. So if I put a 2 here. That 2 gets cancelled with 4, you get pi by 2. So your values become pi by 2. Integral of 0 to pi by 4, 1 upon 2 minus cos 2 theta. <coughs> I can write that as 1 minus tan square theta, 1 plus tan square. So if you use this idea, I got cos 2x as 1 minus tan square x. 1 plus tan square x. So basically your i, if you see it becomes pi by 2, 0 to pi by 4. 1 upon 2 plus 2 tan square x minus 1 plus tan square x upon 1 plus tan square. Now, if I use the idea, I can just write 1 plus tan square theta with the help of identity as sec square theta. So, if I write 1 plus tan square theta as sec square theta, you know, value of the i, which is integral, becomes pi by 2. Limits go from 0 to pi by 4. 1 upon 2 minus 1, which is 1, 1 plus 3 tan square x. This is present in the denominator of denominator, so that goes up above it. So six square theta. It's not six square theta, it's six square x. So if I try to solve this again, if I substitute this easiest idea, tan x is equal to t. If I'm substituting tan x equal to t, I know six square x dx is t. So I can just replace this x square x dx as dt. And your integral simplifies to become i is equal to pi by 2 integral of 0 to pi by 4 sec square x dx is dt upon 1 plus 3 t square. Now again, if I use the idea pi by 2 integral of 0 to pi by 4, if I try to simplify this idea, I get this 1 plus root 3t. No. So once I have integral of dx upon x square plus 1, we know it is nothing but tan inverse. So if I just use the idea to get me tan inverse here, I can write this as tan inverse of root 3t. Dividing it by root 3 because your expression with the x coefficient with the x, whatever is present, whenever we take the integral, we divide by the coefficient of x. The limits go from, so if I'm substituting x tan theta or tan x as t, your limits also should have changed. So we should change the limits as well. So when x and t were there from 0 to pi by 4, tan of 0 is 0 and tan of pi by 4 is 1. So instead of pi by 4, we should have written this as 1. Again, this also should become 1. So you get this limit stoning out to become 1. So if I solve this further, I get pi by 2 root 3 common. Tan inverse of root 3 t. So tan inverse of root 3 minus tan inverse of 0. If I solve this further, i becomes pi by 2 root 3. Tan inverse of root 3, that is 60 degree. 60 degree I write as pi by 3 minus 0. So you get pi square upon 6. So that becomes your answer for the value of the integral. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, 
option matches with the question is answer A. So I understand that the answer for the question which is given to us, that is to find the value of this entire integral, that is option A. We get the answer for the question turning out to become option A. So in this entire question, we needed to use the two ideas of the properties of integrals. One was integral of a to b f of x dx is integral of a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. And once you added that, we got 2y simplified to this. Then I used the other property of definite integral, which says minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 times 0 to a f of x dx. Then we just had to substitute tan x s t. We got our answer simplified to this form, and that gave us the option a as the I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the values of the integrals. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JW mains as well as developing. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JWT. Thank you.